Hi there, you are watching a video of API 653 inspection and repair of above ground storage tanks. Let's start with section 9 tank repair and alteration. General requirements. The basis for repairs and alterations will be APA 650. Requirements for hydrostatic testing, non-destructive testing, well acceptance criteria. Repairs to both shell plate and existing welds are specified in API 653 standard section 12. Annex F indicates which welds require inspection as well as the acceptance standards, examiner qualifications and procedure requirements for non-destructive examination. All repair work must be authorized by the authorized inspector or an engineer with experience in tank design. The authorized inspector will designate the required inspection hold points in the repair or alteration procedure. Routine or limited repairs might be given prior general authorization by the authorized inspector, as long as the repairs will not require hydrostatic testing or an engineering evaluation. Let's review shell repairs in detail. Removal and replacement of shell material. Minimum thickness. The minimum thickness of the replacement material will be calculated according to the original construction standard, normally the API 650 standard. The thickness should not be less than the largest nominal thickness of any plate in the shell cores, except when the adjoining plate is a thickened insert plate. Any change in service, specific gravity, pressure, liquid level and shell height must be taken into account. Removal and replacement of shell material the minimum dimension for replacement shell material will be 305 mm 12 inches or 12 times the thickness of the replacement plate, whichever is greater. The replacement plate can be circular, oval, square with rounded corners or rectangular with rounded corners, except when replacing a whole shell plate. Entire full height shell plates or full height segments can be replaced by cutting and re-welding along the existing horizontal joints. The minimum specified spacing requirements for vertical joints indicated in API 653 figure 91 must be maintained when one or more full height shell plates or full height segments are replaced. Figure 9.1 of the API 653 standard shows the minimum requirements in terms of thicknesses and distances to be applied and to be complied with when replacing parts of the shell or entire shell blades. Door sheets. To locate access doors with respect to shell joints, the requirements of API 653 figures 91, 92, 93 and 94 and 95 must be met. The section of material removed to install an access door in a bad welded tank can be reinstalled in its original location, or the section can be replaced with new material. In any case, the welded joints must have a full fusion and complete penetration.
figures 9.2, 9.3, 9.4 and 9.5 of the API 653 are now shown on screen. These details are indicating the different alternatives to locate access doors, reinforcements and weld locations. Another alternative when it comes to repairing a tank wall are patch plates. Lab patch shell repairs are an acceptable form of repair for bat welded, lab welded and riveted tanks only when specified by the owner. Labbed repairs might not be used on any shell cores whose thickness, original construction obviously, exceeds 12.7 mm half inch or to replace door sheets or shell plates. The repair material must meet the requirements of the current standard and API 653 standard. The overlapped repair plate thickness shall be the lesser of 12.7 mm half inch or the thickness of the plate adjacent to the repair, but not less than 4.7 mm. The shape of the overlap plate can be circular, oval, square or rectangular. All corners, except those at the shell to bottom junction, must be rounded to a minimum radius of 50.8 mm two inches. The nozzle reinforcing plate shapes from API 650 figure 58 are also acceptable as shown in the next figures. The diamond shape shown on the left is an acceptable form for reinforcing plates. The repair plate may cross vertical or horizontal bud welded joints that have been ground flush but must overlap by a minimum of 152.4 mm, that equals 6 inches. The maximum vertical and horizontal dimension of repair plates shall be 1220 mm for inches and 1830 mm, 72 inches, respectively. The minimum dimension will be 100 mm for inches. The weld spacing requirements of API 653 figure 91 will be used as the basis for locating the repair plate. Before installing the repair plate, the areas to be welded must be examined ultrasonically to check for defects and the remaining thickness. Repair plates cannot be lapped onto lab welded shell joints, riveted joints, other lap welded repair plates, warped areas, or unrepaired cracks or defects. Repairs using non metallic materials, section 9.4. Together with Annex J, it provides requirements and design options for repairs with non metallic materials. The recommendations, requirements and information complement Article 4.1 of ASME PCC2. This section and Exhibit J become requirements only when the buyer specifies or allows this method to be used, not at the constructor's discretion. Non-metallic repairs can be made on shell plates or the nozzle neck to restore hoop strength capacity lost due to corrosion. The repair method and the risk assessment shall consider the possibility that non-tensile related forces might damage the repair. The tank shall be assessed to confirm it is sufficient to handle tensile, external, actual, dead and seismic loads.
Annex J specifies the requirements for repairing a tank wall. Composite repairs systems should not be used to repair existing tanks for service change, rebuild tanks for reinforcement in the first 305 mm 12 inches from the bottom of the wall where stresses, strain, discontinuities are difficult to predict. Systems shall be designed and tested in accordance with ASME PCC2 Part 4 Non-Metallic and Bonded Repairs High-Risk Applications with the additional requirements stated in Table J1. The application of this repair system shall be limited to hoop strengthening of the shell for the non-leaking type A and leaking type B conditions as defined in ASME PCC2. The requirements shown on Table J1 of Annex J should be added to those indicated in ASME PCC2 in order to perform a repair with non-metallic materials. An example of a repair using non-metallic materials is shown on the screen. First, the non-metallic or the composite material is prepared. Once the composite element is prepared, it is then attached and glued to the tank shell by means of epoxy and some other resins. Once the composite material, the patch, is added to the shell, it is painted and several layers of uh, resins and some other um, gluing materials are added. And finally, it is lined, covered with uh, special paint in order to ensure that the repair is going to last as required. Alterations to change the tank height. The tank shell can be altered, specifically the tank height can be altered by adding the new shell plate material. The modified tank shell height must be in accordance with the current applicable standard and must take into account all anticipated loads, such as wind and seismic. An example of an alteration of the tank shell is shown on the screen. Another example of tank shell alteration in this case, adding a shell course in the top of the shell, or tank wall. Adding or replacing shell penetrations. New shell penetrations or replacement must be in accordance with First, the material design and post-well heat treatment requirements of API 650 section 5.7 also with API 653 standards sections 992 through 996. Non-destructive testing will be performed according to API 653 section 12, with the exception of penetrations located on a shell joint, which require additional radiography according to API 650 standard. One of the most frequent issues or repair requirements are produced in tank bottoms. So let's check out the main requirements. The minimum dimension for a patched plate that overlaps a patch or the bottom joint 
is 305 millimeters, 12 inches. The patch can be circular, rectangular or polygonal with rounded corners. A welded patch plate less than 305 millimeters, 12 inches in diameter is allowed if the following requirements are met. It is greater than or equal to 152 millimeters, 6 inches in any dimension. It does not overlap a bottom weld. It is not totally or partially placed over an existing patch and it extends beyond the corroded area, if any, by at least 50 millimeters, 2 inches. Here we can see two examples of patched welded repairs on the tank bottom. Let's review requirements for repairs of tank bottoms in the critical zone. As described before, the critical zone is defined as the first 3 inches mm, portion of the tank bottom measured radially from the shell to bottom junction towards the center of the tank. The maximum thickness of a welded plate within the critical zone will be 6.35 mm, a quarter of an inch, and must meet the strength requirements of API 650, section 4210. When a welded on patch plate is within 150 mm, 6 inches, of the shell, it must be a tombstone type. The sides of this tombstone should be intersected the shell to bottom junction at approximately 90 degrees. The perimeter welds on a patch plate installed in the critical zone will have a minimum of two welding passes and will be examined according to sections 12113 API 650 section 8 and 12172 visual inspection and either MT or PT. The minimum requirements and restrictions for repairs on bottom plates are indicated in figure 913, reproduced on the screen right now. Bottom plate replacement the shell should be cut evenly and parallel to the bottom of the tank. Cut edges should be ground to remove all cut slags and burrs. The new bottom projection will extend out of the shell as required by the API 650 standard, section 542, normally 50 mm, 2 inches. A non-corrosive material, such as sand, gravel, or concrete should be used between the old and new bottom. The shell should be cut according to the following. It should be cut parallel to the bottom of the tank, a minimum of 12.7 mm half inch above the shell to bottom junction, BB in the figure shown to the right, figure 10.1 of the standard. The entire shell to bottom joint, including any material in the heat affected zone, shall be removed.